is um, is your love for that aspect of it one reason why you found it Odyssey? Yeah, it is. I um, I really wanted to get out of the New York publishing rat race, and yet I wanted to somehow be able to keep working with authors and helping them improve their work. Um, I did some freelance editing, but that's different. It's like you're a hired gun. You don't really have this long-term relationship that at a publishing house you might have with an author. You do several books together. And I really wanted to be able to work intensely over a period of time with authors, helping them. And I thought, well, how can I do that? And I thought maybe uh, a workshop would be a good setting for it. How many years have you been doing Odyssey now? This is the 11th year. Yeah, I age about seven years per Odyssey, so... <laughs> so it truly is an Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, what makes Odyssey unique? Uh, I think there's a, several things that we offer that are different from other workshops. One is um, that I bring to it an editor's perspective. So I've worked with a lot of different authors, and... I know that each author works in his own way, and so I try to find for each student who comes to the workshop, what is the right way for them? What is the best path for them to take to develop an idea? Where are they going wrong? Uh, how could they do it better? Rather than just saying, you know, well, this is how I do it, and that's how you have to do it, because it's the only way I know. Um, and I think you know, most authors in work, they found what works for them, and that can be very helpful but I think I offer some diversity, um, which can be useful also. Um, I think uh, another thing we do that's different is we allow uh, people to work on novels and many workshops limited to short stories. And short stories are certainly easier to work with. They're easier to um, show progress in because you can see the complete story and judge more whether it's successful or not. But I know some writers just don't think short, and I don't want to force them to write things they don't care about, then have them ripped apart in workshopping <laughs> session, and then they just throw up their hands and say, well, I didn't care anyway. That doesn't really teach them. So if they really can't think short, I let them work on novels. And usually what happens is they get to the workshop, they read everyone else's short stories, and they start to get some short ideas too, so they mix it in. Uh, something else we do that's different is that we have a mixture of uh, one instructor for the whole six weeks, which is me, with the guest instructors who come in. So students do get these varied perspectives and they get great advice from different authors who come in and, and reveal, you know, this was a big help to me, this is where I struggled and how I overcame it, and getting feedback from those other authors, as well as having one person the whole time who can kind of say, okay, here's your big problem at the beginning, now here we are in the middle, you've conquered your big problem, let's try <laughs> conquering the next problem, and sort of give a sense of progress, or lack thereof, uh, to the student, <laughs> hopefully progress. <laughs> um, who are some of the guest lecturers that you've had? Uh, we've had great people come. We've had uh, George R. R. Martin, Terry Brooks, Dan Simmons, Harlan Allison, uh, Patricia McKillop, Jane Yolen, Elizabeth Hand. And then we've had um, editors and agents as well. It's, it's amazing because when I started it, I thought, you know, I'm going to really have to work to convince authors and editors to come here. And what I've had instead is like people contacting me all the time saying, I'd really love to teach at Odyssey. And I think we work in such a wonderful field that the authors many times just want to give back and want to help the developing writers move up. That really surprised me. <laughs> so just how demanding is, is Odyssey? It is six weeks in close quarters with 15 or 16 strangers. And you did say the classroom had to be available 24 hours a day. <laughs> For those that. secret midnight <laughs> sessions. Um, it's a very demanding program, and anyone who applies or comes should know that. We have class four hours a day, five days a week. We also have about eight hours a night of homework, and on the weekends, about 12 hours. I expect people to be working uh, per day on the weekend. You know, it's six weeks to make a major change in your writing, and if you're not willing to work constantly through the six weeks and go without some sleep and really put all you have into it, 
so that you are ready to drop from exhaustion on the last day of the sixth week, then you shouldn't be coming. Uh, that's what I expect from, from the students who come here. And pretty much that's what they give, you know, because they want to get the most out of it.